Roger De Smith Matis in Belgium. Ang struktura ng maalamat na linyada ng De Smith Matis, Valerie De Smith Matis in Nocturne. Ay walang alinlangan na isa sa mga dakila sa kaisaysayan ng kalapate. Kasama ang mga kalapate na magkakapatid na Johnson Brothers mula sa Arindong, dila niya sa mundo ang pangalan at katanyagan ng Belgian Pigeon. Si Valerie De Smith Matis at ang kanyang sikat sa mundo na Old Elimination 46. World War II is over. In Flanders, peace has come back too. In the country, people have picked up the normal life. Corn is growing on the fields again, and the cattle is grazing in the pastures. Okay. On the borderline between West and East Flanders in Belgium, there's the little village of Nokere. In the near future, Nokere will become a byword for pigeon racing all over the world. Here, two brothers-in-law started building up a pigeon strain unlike any other strain before or since. Valère de Smet, a hard-working seasonal and a first-rate connoisseur. And here, half a century later, in the same, we can still find the pigeon stronghold of the Smet Matthijs. Hier zijn we nu in Nokere bij de Smet Matthijs in de Wandelstraat nummer 3. Dus, uh, we are in Nokere with the Smet Matthijs in number 3 Wandel Street. And, uh, My parents dus lived in these grounds de too. I'm the fourth generation living in this house. Huis. Of course, things have changed somewhat over the years. In the past, it was a small cottage. Uh, My parents have changed it a little, and so have I. Uh, old boerderijtje. En uh, mijn ouders hebben er ook wat veranderd en ik ondertussen ook wat. Maar hier is het eigenlijk allemaal ontstaan. De Smet This is the home of the Smet Matthijs and its pigeons. It became the main sire of the Smet Matthijs string. In this painting you can see the group of birds that dominate 1953. Besides the Klare you see the Kromme and the Dikke. Two direct sons of the Klare. En in de winter van 53, toen is vader zijn duimen gestolen. In the winter of 1953, my father's racing birds were stolen. In totally, they stole 20 litters, the whole racing team. They were all gone. It has never been found out who did it. The fact was that they were gone. But my father was lucky. He had put the clara on the breeding lure just before it all happened. What could he do? He didn't have too many stock birds. Fortunately, he had some really good friends. They all brought him one of their finest cocks to pair them with daughters of the Clara. This was a great success and another proof of the genetic powers of the Clara and its children. The 
greatest names of Belgian pigeon racing brought their best birds to Noker. Hector de Schmet brought his famous prince to pair it with a daughter of the Klare. Oscar de Vriend brought his zwarte band. All the beroemdheden of the David. All these famous birds have been on our lofts. My father said, I want to do breeding together with others, but it will have to be here in the Walder Street. They all agreed immediately, because they wanted to have some youngsters from the Klare. This again worked out just fine. In the year 54, my father made a new start. He started racing with the young birds. That year, Rick, the Genaide, the Sture and the Fiat were born. The birds formed a team that performed magnificently. That year, Valer won a car with his young birds. In the years 53 till 57, nobody could compete with my father. In the end, nobody would race against him on the middle distance. Zo een klein beetje meer, ja, in de jaren 53, 54, 55, 56. Toen speelde hij al zo'n beetje allemaal kapot. En in het jaar 56, geloof ik, dan werd hij overal uitgesloten. Dus hij moest de lange distance racen. Dat was de enige dat hij nog moest doen om naar de fond te gaan. Een van de beste resultaten op de lange distance was in 1960. Toen de fameuze Capoon won de eerste prijs nationale van Saint-Vincent. Everything started just after World War II. At that time, my uncle Jules Matthijs lived in with us in our house. At that time, my father and my uncle started their partnership in racing pigeons. And that wasn't easy because there was a lack of good pigeons. My uncle Jules Matthijs had the other in each other and had a combination for them to play with the devil. And it was not easy to play with the devil in that time. There were a lot of good pigeons, but there were not many. But my uncle Jules knew a few fanciers who had saved some of the best birds by hiding them from the Germans. My uncle succeeded in buying some of those good pigeons. He already had to pay a lot of money for them, but they made a good start. Ik zeg het nogmaals, er wordt er niet zoveel. En uh, het is toch aardig gelukt, omdat, uh, ja... En of course, they were very lucky that the Klaren was born in the year 1946. Those birds that they had bought were from the best pre-war strains in Belgium. ...van de bekendste duiven van voor de Noordloog. En daar zijn ze eigenlijk zijn ze mee vertrokken. Dan wordt die Klaren in 46 geboren. Zo, de Klaren was from 1946. A beautiful bird? Yeah, Not really. My father told me that he was very ugly. The story goes that in the winter of 1946, a pigeon judge came into our village. And Uncle Zhu took some birds for him to look at. It was of course, yes, there were always schoonheids and I don't know what to say. But it was so in the winter, in the same winter of the year 1946, was that Tamelijk populair ook. Dat kwam er een keur er zo ergens uh, in een dorp of en ook een zuur die trok daar ook naartoe. He came back and said, this bird, de klare, isn't good enough according to the judge. The parents of the klare would have to be removed. Then my father said, sure, we don't have many pigeons. And so it happened. They kept the bird. En hij goed. Toch hebben ze die duif. In the following year, as a yearling, they started racing with the Klare. But right away, he proved himself. When he was two years old, he excelled and became a super crack. From this point, the Klare saw the lofts when he came home from a race. The legends has it that he always came from exactly the same direction, the southwest.
hier in dat wagentje. Toen in de tijd, de fameuze tijd van de klaar. Hier on this path, when the Klaar was expected to come home on Sundays, sometimes 30, 40 or 50 people would be waiting to see him come home. This path was full of people, all waiting only for the Klaar. Click here, 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 click